The age of absolutism was a period in European history that lasted from the 16th to the 18th century. It was a time when monarchs held absolute power over their subjects, and their authority was not subject to any limitations or constraints. This era was marked by the rise of power for monarchs who sought to centralize their power and control every aspect of their subjects' lives. During this time, kings and queens became the ultimate authority in their kingdoms, and their word was law. They were seen as the embodiment of the nation and were expected to act in the best interests of the people. However, this absolute power also came with great responsibility, and monarchs were expected to maintain law and order, protect the subjects, and ensure the prosperity of their kingdoms. The age of absolutism was a time of great change and transformation in Europe. It saw the rise of power for monarchs such as Louis Roman XIV of France, Peter the Great of Russia, and Charles Roman II of Spain. These monarchs were known for their lavish lifestyles, grand palaces, and extravagant court ceremonies. They also played a significant role in shaping the political, economic, and social landscape of Europe. In this video, we will explore the age of absolutism and the impact it had on European history. We will examine the rise of absolute monarchs, their reigns, and the legacy they left behind. We will also look at the cultural and artistic achievements of this era and how they influence the world we live in today. Join us as we take a journey back in time to the age of absolutism, a time of kings and queens, power and authority, and a time that shaped the course of European history. The Age of Absolutism saw the rise of absolute monarchs who held complete control over their kingdoms. These monarchs believed in the divine right of kings, which meant that they were chosen by God to rule and that their authority was absolute and unquestionable. One of the most famous absolute monarchs was Louis Roman XIV of France, who ruled from 1643 to 1715. Louis Roman XIV was known as the Sun King and was famous for his Grand Palace at Versailles, which became the centre of French political and cultural life. Louis Roman XIV was a strong believer in the divine right of kings and believed that he was the embodiment of France. Another famous absolute monarch was Peter the Great of Russia, who ruled from 1682 to 1725. Peter the Great was known for his modernization efforts and his attempts to westernize Russia. He built a new capital city, St. Petersburg, and introduced reforms that modernized the Russian army, navy, and bureaucracy. Charles Roman II of Spain was another absolute monarch who ruled from 1665 to 1700. Charles Roman II was known for his weak and ineffective rule, which led to the decline of the Spanish Empire. He was also the last Habsburg ruler of Spain, and his death without an heir led to the War of the Spanish Succession. The rise of absolute monarchs had a significant impact on European history. It led to the centralization of power and the creation of strong, centralized states. It also led to the development of modern bureaucracies and the growth of standing armies. However, it also led to the suppression of individual rights and freedoms and the exploitation of the lower classes. In the next segment, we will explore the reigns of Louis Roman XIV, Peter the Great, and Charles Roman II in more detail and examine the impact they had on their kingdoms and Europe as a whole. Louis Roman XIV of France, Peter the Great of Russia, and Charles Roman II of Spain were three of the most famous absolute monarchs of the Age of Absolutism. Each of these monarchs had a significant impact on their kingdoms and on European history as a whole. Louis Roman XIV was one of the longest reigning monarchs in European history, ruling from 1643 to 1715. He was known for his Grand Palace at Versailles, which became the centre of French political and cultural life. Louis Roman XIV was a strong believer in the divine right of kings and believed that he was the embodiment of France. He centralised power in France and created a strong, centralised state. He also pursued a policy of aggressive expansionism, which led to a series of wars with other European powers. Peter the Great of Russia ruled from 1682 to 1725. He was known for his modernisation efforts and his attempts to westernise Russia. He built a new capital city, St. Petersburg, and introduced reforms that modernized the Russian army, navy, and bureaucracy. He also pursued a policy of territorial expansion, which led to the acquisition of new territories in the Baltic region. Charles Roman II of Spain ruled from 1665 to 1700. He was known for his weak and ineffective rule, which led to the decline of the Spanish Empire. He was also the last Habsburg ruler of Spain, and his death without an heir led to the War of the Spanish Succession. This war was fought between the major European powers and resulted in the establishment of a new Bourbon dynasty in Spain. The reigns of Louis Roman XIV, Peter the Great, and Charles Roman II had a significant impact on European history. They led to the centralization of power and the creation of strong, centralized states. They also led to the development of modern bureaucracies and the growth of standing armies. However, they also led to the suppression of individual rights and freedoms and the exploitation of the lower classes. In the next segment, we will explore the cultural and artistic achievements of the Age of Absolutism and how they influence the world we live in today. The Age of Absolutism was not just a time of political and economic change, but also a time of great cultural and artistic achievement. 
The grand palaces and court ceremonies of the absolute monarchs were a reflection of the artistic and cultural achievements of this era. One of the most famous artistic achievements of the age of absolutism was the Baroque style of art and architecture. Baroque art was characterized by its grandeur, drama, and emotional intensity. It was used to glorify the power and authority of the absolute monarchs and was often used to decorate their palaces and public buildings. Music was also an important part of the cultural achievements of the age of absolutism. The Baroque era saw the rise of famous composers such as Johann Sebastian Bach, George Friedrich Handel, and Antonio Vivaldi. The music was often commissioned by the absolute monarchs and was used to entertain and impress their guests. The age of absolutism also saw the rise of the novel as a literary form. Famous novels of this era include Don Quixote by Miguel de Cervantes and Robinson Crusoe by Daniel Defoe. These novels were often used to explore the themes of individualism, freedom, and adventure. The cultural and artistic achievements of the Age of Absolutism had a significant impact on the world we live in today. The Baroque style of art and architecture can still be seen in many public buildings and churches around the world. The music of Bach, Handel, and Vivaldi is still performed and enjoyed by millions of people around the world. The novel as a literary form continues to be a popular and important part of our cultural heritage. In the final segment, we will examine the legacy of the Age of Absolutism and its impact on the modern world. The Age of Absolutism had a significant impact on European history and left a lasting legacy that can still be felt today. The rise of absolute monarchs led to the centralization of power and the creation of strong, centralized states. This, in turn, led to the development of modern bureaucracies and the growth of standing armies. The cultural and artistic achievements of the Age of Absolutism also had a significant impact on the world we live in today. The Baroque style of art and architecture can still be seen in many public buildings and churches around the world. The music of Bach, Handel, and Vivaldi is still performed and enjoyed by millions of people around the world. The novel as a literary form continues to be a popular and important part of our cultural heritage. However, the age of absolutism also had its dark side. The absolute power of the monarchs often led to the suppression of individual rights and freedoms and the exploitation of the lower classes. It also led to a series of wars and conflicts that devastated Europe and led to the loss of countless lives. Despite its flaws, the age of absolutism was a time of great change and transformation in European history. It saw the rise of powerful monarchs, the development of modern bureaucracies, and the growth of standing armies. It also saw the cultural and artistic achievements of the Baroque era, which continue to inspire and influence us today. In conclusion, the age of absolutism was a time of kings and queens, power and authority, and a time that shaped the course of European history. Its legacy can still be felt today, and its impact on the modern world is undeniable.